Hi Leos and welcome to your August 2022 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead of August. Happy birthday to those of you aging up uh, in Leo season, uh, late July and August. I am really looking forward to coming on and reading for you all this month because the energy has totally changed. Uh, we are really um, in a very different environment and important stuff is happening. Uh, we're in a greater time of solar activity, so we have some solar winds, uh, coronal mass ejections happening, and this happened right as the sun went into its home sign, which is your sign of Leo. All of a sudden, uh, the sun got really strong, and it shot a lot of solar energy to the Earth. Uh, so I talked a little bit about that in a dedicated video that you can check out on my channel. But um, I want to speak a little bit on that for you this month. I'll tell you about some intuitive messages, uh, along with a week-to-week -week tarot forecast and an extended reading on Patreon, which will be linked below. So let's talk about it, Leos. Okay, um, things could get uncomfortable as they um, are faced. So nothing can really be avoided, I feel, um, late July and during the month of August. So the result of our health, the result of our choices, the result of pushing something through is I feel that a lot of people are like jamming something through. There could be something like jammed through um, a certain boundary or like people could be totally done. They're like walking away. Uh, certain toxic parasitic or vampiric energy bonds are totally like um, cut off during this time and the solar energy heals that up. So it is a good time to be in the sun for some people especially if you are dealing with dark darkness or toxicity or if you've been um, maybe dealing with someone or an energy bond that's really dark um, you know kind of like dark triad narcissistic or uh, manipulative or untrue okay so dishonesty is really being targeted right now we have a major kind of like falling away of certain like even ambiguous or dishonest means or structures and we have a dismantling, I feel, of the structures in our lives that prop up any form of fear, any form of density. I'm talking like um, lower vibrational density. That stuff is really being overpowered now, and it's likely that you will have a lot of sudden realizations about the way things actually are. So if you as a Leo person are like misdirecting your own blame, okay? So say you had like an ex that cheated on you and you like blame the person that they cheated on you with rather than the ex themselves, like that could really get challenged now or you might um, almost not be able to blame people who aren't culpable. So I would definitely take a look at themes of culpability right now, who actually did this, who actually caused this. Um, also themes of naivety, themes of um, trusting too quickly and then perhaps creating bonds even with like a satanic entities or uh, other forces of darkness will not succeed now. So there's no way that we can romanticize it. There's no way we can glorify it. You know, if we've had that trauma, if we've gone through something dark, even like five to seven years ago at this point in time, um, it can't be romanticized anymore. It won't be romanticized anymore. And it's gonna be uh, coming up in its truth. So um, this is final judgment here for some people. Ooh, I got chills as I said that. <laughs> uh, there's no judgment card coming up in your reading, but um, it's a final judgment. And I think that the uh, coronal mass ejection that happened on July 22nd, uh, which was just yesterday as I'm uh, filming your reading, that is um, going to sort of be that gavel. That's going to be that um, clarification. So also, if you as a Leo person you know, having like Saturn opposing you, also having Pluto getting really close to being on your axis. If you um, have been dealing with any kind of really just, again, dense or dark or powerful opposition, okay, it's good to set things in order now and it's good to tie up those uh, loose ends, okay? So um, what do I mean? It's good to know the judgment okay it's good to know what actually happened in these situations it's really important not to romanticize dark things now it's really important to not be like oh well yes that person was like a complete energy vampire but we had such a wonderful month in 
I don't know, some foreign location together. And we, and I've never felt happiness like that before. And because of that experience, I can't really come to terms or come to grips with the reality of their destruction or the reality of their uh, darkness. The darkness with this current solar activity during Leo season is going to be illuminated and it's not going to be a mystery. So I also feel that mystery illnesses, mystery relationships, mystery, 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 it's all revealed now. We have a major revealing in the month of August and it could already be by the time of end of July. Uh, major, major, major revealing. I think that there's pretty much like everything in people's lives that are like, is that or is that not a problem? Is that an issue or a non-issue? Is that good or bad? Is that a healthy or unhealthy thing? All of that is going to be setting itself straight. So I just want to prepare you uh, before we get into this reading uh, further, Leos, that the month of August 2022 is going to set stuff straight. Okay, misplaced blame, uh, problems that aren't problems, uh, unnecessary romanticization, illusions, deceptions, lies. Okay, all really illuminated now. And it's good to know that that's coming on and also to know that there's really no changing the current momentum. So if we are caught up in a lie or if we are caught up in some kind of like dark energy, it's going to be relieved by being revealed rather than us trying to like scramble to change things at this point. You know, we had adequate time over the last few years to really like, you know, spin things favorably for us. But now it's just really about the truth and it's about the illumination and leo like no their sign actually understands this because you're ruled by the sun so there's no uh, dishonesty in that archetype the sun just is the sun has no darkness there is no um shadow there okay whereas here on planets in the solar system there are right because they rotate and they uh during one part of the day cycle they face the uh, sun and then the other part they face uh the outer space so there's that day night cycle not on the sun, okay? So I feel that for Earth, being that these solar winds have been flung at the Earth, it means that there's less of a night cycle here, and it means that there's more daytime-oriented, yang-oriented, um, unchangeable. Okay, this is really important. Um, can I find the right word here? Not unchangeable, but... Um, you know how sometimes people will spin things or they will make thing things anything they want it to be? So like any circumstance, situation, or event can kind of be like shaped or molded into anything with like the right words, I feel that that stuff also falls flat right now. So like basically uh, propagandistic efforts, uh, even in like personal lives, like in your personal relationships where people are like totally off with their recounting of events, but somehow they make it sound right. So this could be like gossip, this could be rumors, this could be even schemes. So like people could scheme against one another and fail during this time. Basically, the truth is just going to uh, come through now. And it's not going to be this way forever, but it's a really good opportunity to tell the truth. It's a good opportunity for coming out of closets. It's a good opportunity for um, any type of revealing because it's supported, it's backed, and it will be more powerful than um, concealing, okay? So we don't need to conceal anything. There's actually a bit of an inspection here, a bit of an inquisition, some people could say. Um, I don't feel that it's harsh like that, but it can feel that way to certain people, especially people who've been like lying or uh, operating through deceit. Um, as a certain like inspecting energy comes through or as light is shown onto things, it no longer has that dark power anymore and we can move on with our lives. Um, also intuitively for you, Leo's long reading for you this month, uh, it is your birthday after all. Um, I'm just after looking at all of your cards intuitively, I think that you're trying too hard with something as well. I think that you have a bigger lesson to learn. Uh, this is totally detached from my previous message, totally new message. You have something to learn about um, how much energy something takes from you, as the sun is maybe like uh, having to use a lot of energy to like shoot off these ejections, you know? Um, so that kind of connects those messages together. But also, in what way do you see that you've put too much energy into something? Nine of Wands in the Strength card in the world. Uh, you've tried too hard with something, you've uh, endured too much, you've um, been demanded too much of by other people, perhaps. Um, also, I think that you will be repaid really well for it. So money could come through, even like a fortune or some type of windfall, um, and you will be repaid for this effort, but it doesn't make it okay. And here's what I want to tell you all. You could have gotten the same funds or the same energy or the same time 
based on less effort. It did not have to be this hard. That's just something that some of you need to hear. It never had to be this difficult. It never had to consume this much of your energy. Nonetheless, you will be repaid and recompensated over time. But um, try to learn about how you can not lose so much sleep over things or how you can do things with less effort, less time. That's part of your greater moral right now. Let's talk about your week to week. Week number one, you've got the uh, three of cups rooted down by the world. I'm just going to drink some coffee really quick, Leo's. <laughs> I have a, a latte here, which is nice. And I just don't really feel like editing things out lately. You know, I've had people um, tell me as I had a few uh, parts of recent videos that I had meant to edit out that were just kind of like me like thumbing through notes or like seeking dates. And people are like, oh my gosh, I just love the raw version so much more than the editing. And, you know, that saves me a lot of time as well. So I'm just going to take a second to enjoy uh, my latte with you all. That's really lovely. Um, maybe you guys have something nice to drink as well. Okay, <clears throat> so the first week of August, Leos, um, you have a change in your personal network. You have a change in your uh, comfortable sense of well-being, so you feel more comfortable around people. You know, you don't have to edit out yourself drinking the latte. You know, you feel fine. You have people who appreciate your presence more. You have an evolution of acquaintances. So also you could see that like past friends or uh, people of the past, it just doesn't resonate anymore. So a group based on a certain counterculture, for instance, might seem um, dreary. It might seem uh, cliche now. And you might even be drawn to more like mainstream groups, or you might even be drawn into like a church or something. Or you might find that, I don't know, a coffee shop or some type of a uh, business even uh, connected to something more mainstream for you might do better because I feel that Leo was in the shadows for a while and maybe because of this you like had a very niche experience of life so now with this solar activity it might be kind of like well do you want to take this to the next level do you want to um, really like put yourself out there and show yourself to the world what a beautiful time for like a new wardrobe a new haircut this new moon in leo actually uh with the trying to jupiter not hitting any of these like uh crazy transits right now is a wonderful time to reinvent one's appearance so if you guys wanted i don't know spend some birthday money on a new style or a new wardrobe i think that that might be really um pleasant week number two you have the strength card rooted down by the moon reversed Strength in cutting through the illusion. Like what I was talking about before, Leo can be a sign that struggles with gossip. Sometimes, and, and you guys are like the best propagandists as well. Uh, no offense, I mean, not, I'm not saying that you guys do that, but you guys are really good at creating narratives. You guys are really good at charismatically, you know, supporting words. And um, they need to be full words. They don't, they don't need to be empty, vacant concepts because these illusions are really getting cut through. So um, I would just come to the come to the table with honesty okay and i would have the strength for some of you it's like the strength to come out okay for some of you it's the strength whatever that looks like to you it's not just like sexuality but it can it can be but it's also like other things too it's like um telling people what you actually want to do with yourself okay what job you actually want what type of life you actually want and not having to be in the closet with that stuff is really important um also uh, yes, you want to make sure that these spaces which are hidden in your life, so like um, anything in your life that you do, like actually want hidden, I don't know, like sensitive information or uh, things that need to be under security, you might want to double check that as well. Uh, I feel that you might need an increase in security during this time. Uh, week number three, Ace of Pentacles rooted down by the Two of Wands, a reward comes through, a uh, sum of money comes through, a lump sum. Uh, also, you can regroup now or you can plan for a larger regrouping in the year of 2023, starting in the third week of August. You can um, basically come back to the drawing board or you can plan for yourself a uh, regrouping because of this windfall or because of this abundance that you're getting in the third week of August. It's beautiful stuff, Leo. Like you don't even know, like this new honest part of you. I don't even, I don't want to say it's new, but this resurgence of like pride in your own truth and not feeling like you have to hide it. So people who have to hide things or people who feel like they have to be deceitful are struggling with a greater schemata of disempowerment because nobody would be dishonest 
if they didn't feel like they were threatened by the truth or if they didn't feel like they would be persecuted or if they didn't feel like they would be in danger. And I understand that we have all different Leos here. And sometimes, yes, in a state of persecution, you got to get out of there and you got to look the part getting out of there. I, I have seen in history, as a historian myself, I have seen a lot of people who um, have had to, you know, get out and be a certain person doing that. It does happen. Um, I don't think that that's where you are, though, now for most Leos. Now it really is like a test of honesty, and it's a test of like, who am I really? And it's a test of strength, okay? And it's rewarded. <clears throat> so your willingness, Leo, to level with people, your willingness to put everything out on the table, your willingness to be upfront, your willingness to not be afraid of what other people's choices has what other people's choices have led to for you and the perhaps instinct to like hide that or to not feel like you can be upfront with that gets totally evolved now. And as you come out with that or as you kind of like open up to your truth, there's a huge reward and it allows you to do basically whatever you want in time. <laughs> Uh, but that's where all this work we've been doing over the last few years about, you know, what do I want? What would I do if money wasn't an object? What would I do in all of these circumstances? That also is something that you have to have kind of gone through with by now so that you don't like, um, you know, uh, flail. But actually flailing kind of makes sense from now until like 2023, but it will be really important to get things together by then. Uh, week number four, Leo's two of swords rooted down by the nine of wands. Okay, um, there are these boundaries that are connected to, it's not even boundaries, it's a walls, it's a blockades, it's obstacles, they're not boundaries, and they're tied to labor, they're tied to endurance, they're tied to, uh, if any of you have ever done endurance athletics, like uh, marathon running, I'm a runner myself, if you've ever done that, you would know the, like, um, almost what's the, what's the word it's like a euphoria that comes when you push those endurance limits um i feel that some of you might have like an addiction to that here so like overworking overdoing uh, it has its time and place but i don't feel it's now there's going to be a bigger test for you coming up about ease and simplicity um as i do feel that you are um still by the end of the month kind of trying too hard with something or learning through some type of like labor. And um, you might take a look at that. For some people, it's the right thing. For some people, it's not. It kind of depends on what your like wants are. But it could like keep you guarded too. So by working 70 hour work weeks, like do you have time to date? Do you have time to work with your body? Do you have time to like really be open to these uh, revelations coming through now? Maybe not, and that's kind of the danger here. So I definitely recommend pulling back out of anything tangential, anything you don't need. And with that, Leos, let's go ahead and do your extended reading. Uh, why not treat yourself to a membership to my Patreon page as a birthday present? Uh, come check it out. I will link it below and in the center of your screen. We will do an extended reading. We'll get central themes, supporting themes, and an overarching significator card and get more information about uh, Leo season and your time of the year. Come check it out, Leos. It's a wonderful space with a lot of uh, valuable premium content uh, at very reasonable prices. Uh, so come check that out. I will talk to you all soon. Have a beautiful month and happy birthday. Leos, much love. Bye.